began as a $25,000 tax break grew to $100,000 when Congress passed the President's economic stimulus package last spring. We think small businesses need to have support at this time to keep them afloat, to keep the economy moving ahead. But there's an encouragement for the small business person not just to stay afloat, but to go buy the biggest gas guzzler <laughs> there is, the 6,000-pound car, the biggest does that make sense? I, I don't think we can we can dictate what vehicles people buy. I think the goal this here is... This is encouraging them. I mean, you can almost buy the whole car for the tax break. Well, I, I'm not going to concede that that would be the way these would be used or that... Well, there's some would, evidence that is how they're being used. Well, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what would happen. and all Iraq comes good news with the opening of a new oil field. The pipeline runs across the desert to the Persian Gulf at Fayal. There, tankers load up with the precious fuel the world needs so badly. Yes, it's a big day for Iraq, and there's a feast to celebrate. Sheep stuffed with rice and a host of other good things. But that's only the first of the good things that will come to Iraq, thanks to oil. Oil companies have rarely shied away from global issues, but why did they lobby so hard to build public opposition to the electric car in California? There's no question the people who uh, control the marketplace today, the oil companies, have a strong incentive to discourage alternatives, uh, except the alternatives that they themselves control. And, you know, just as General Motors 40, 50 years ago bought up the trolley systems and shut them down, uh, the oil companies have opposed the creation of an electric infrastructure. Mm -hmm. 